I had my last sip of alcohol two years, three months, and 15 days ago. October 26, 2021 is when I put the bottle down and I decided never to pick it up again. You see, my wife and I had gone to Europe for a month long vacation slash honeymoon. And when I had went to Europe with her, we drank pretty much every fucking day. Now keep in mind guys, I never considered myself a crazy alcoholic. I never considered myself to have a problem with alcohol, but I would drink copious amount of alcohol on a weekly basis. And when we went to Europe, we drank almost every single day. Not to get blackout drunk, but because every single restaurant, we paired it with wine or a sangria or a champagne because that's what you do when you're in Europe. When in Rome, you do what everybody else does. You see, when we got back from Europe, I didn't quit drinking because we got back from a month long binge and I was like, I have a problem. I quit drinking because when we got back, I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, you look fluffy, dog. I didn't like the fluff that was building up in my stomach. I was drinking way too much. I realize now that I was an alcoholic. You see, I couldn't go a fucking week without polishing a 2.6 or a 40 of alcohol. And back then it wasn't a huge deal to me. I was the person who would convince you and everybody else to drink because back then I loved alcohol. And even to this day, if I'm going to be honest with you, even though I haven't drank in over two years, I still love alcohol. All right. I love the taste. I love the history. I love the smell. But I've chosen to take a step back from it and never touch it again due to what it did to me. You see, for the longest time in my life, I was always turning towards a bottle to try to solve my problem. I left my house at 14 to couch surf because every time I would go home to mend the relationship with my parents and with my family, it would turn into an astronomical intense fight. I'm talking about screaming, throwing shit, anger, frustration, name calling. There was just so much. And back then, when I was a kid in my hometown, what did we all do for fun? Drink. What did we all do for no reason? Drink. I literally used to live the life of a trailer park boy. That's why I like the show Trailer Park Boys, where I would spend every single dime on jerky or pepperoni sticks and alcohol. That's why we laughed when we watched that show when I was a kid, because that's what we did. Now, again, for the longest time, I just never thought it was a problem. I never thought it was a thing that I had a problem with. You see, I cut out alcohol due to the extra empty calories that it filled my body with. I didn't cut it out because I originally thought it was a problem. So when we actually got back from our honeymoon, I ended up looking in the mirror and not liking what I saw. So I did what I only knew what to do, which was commit to a fitness competition just like I had done three times prior. You see, I got into fitness back in the day by doing fitness competitions. They are what helped me kickstart my journey, get into fitness and build the necessary habits and rituals I needed in order to see success. So when I got back from our honeymoon and I didn't like what I saw in the mirror, I decided to do my fourth show, which was the BC Cup. We actually have an entire YouTube series on it if you want to go check it out from back in the day, but let's keep it rocking. So when I decided to do the BC Cup, I hired my coach, Don Lamb, and we started to dissect all of the things that we needed to do. I actually had around 36 pounds of fat to lose. I'll throw my transformation up on the screen so you guys can see it. We lost 36 pounds between the start and the end photo here. And we're surprised that we actually ended up getting that weight off because when we first talked, it was gonna be a stretch. It was gonna be a lot of hard work. And that conversation is actually what kickstarted my sobriety journey. So when I sat down with Dawn and we had a conversation about where we were sitting physically, mentally, and emotionally, we looked at all of the bad habits I had and realized that I needed to cut out alcohol because I was drinking a copious amount of alcohol on a weekly basis without really anybody knowing. Not because I was drinking in secret and not because I thought I had a problem, but it was just what I was turning to at that time in my life. You see, COVID was in full swing. I was gaming with my homies all the fucking time and you couldn't really go out because everybody was in lockdown and not being able to explore, go to the malls or do anything. So when I was gaming, I was drinking a shitload even more than usual. So if you could do the math, just to break that down very quickly, one shot of straight alcohol is usually nine calories. Now, if I'm pounding anywhere from two to three shots per glass and I'm having three to five glasses per night. Let's just do the math together. Let's say I'm doing five shots times nine calories each. I'm having five drinks right away. That's an extra 225 calories per night, not to mention any other food. 
So if I'm trying to cut my calories down to 1700 to 1900 to put myself in a caloric deficit to step on stage for the fourth time, but I am drinking empty calories, empty macronutrients, it's gonna stop me from achieving my fitness goal. So that's not what this video is about. I cut out the alcohol, not because I thought I had a problem, just because I thought it was gonna help me win the show. Now keep in mind, when I first cut out alcohol, I started to feel a very intense twitch. You see, I had always been, I, w I don't want to say reliant on alcohol, but it was always there. It was always something that I turned to and it was always something that I abused for lack of a better term. So when I cut it out, I hit around 15 days to 20 days sober and was very proud, but surprised of myself. And since I quit drinking, since I decided to put the fucking bottle down, not to mention saving money from not drinking anymore, but so many good things have happened. Through me being sober and having the balls to express it online and tell you guys that I used to be an individual struggling with alcohol, I've inspired thousands of fucking people. I've saved tens of thousands of dollars because I haven't spent any money on dumb shit anymore. And on top of that, I've seen ultra success in the last two years, not to mention the success we've seen since 2016. I'm a 29 year old entrepreneur making multiple seven figures, inspiring millions every single fucking day because I believe in my principles, my values, and I stand on them. I also express through vulnerability. I used to be like you. I struggle with a Percocet addiction. I've been sober for over eight years now. I struggle with alcohol. I've been sober for over two years now. And it was all because I embraced myself, was vulnerable with the truth that needed to be told, and I leaned into fitness. I say this every single video, and I know it sounds like a broken record, but fitness is the foundation of my success. You see, just like back in the day when I decided to quit my Percocet addiction, and I was $20,000 in debt, and I had no fucking friends, and I was sleeping on couches, and I had no direction in life, I leaned into fitness and it transformed my situation. I did the same thing with fucking alcohol over the last two and a half years. You see... I'm in a way different position now than I used to be when I quit Percocets, but I did the same thing. I quit alcohol, went balls deep into a fitness competition, and over the last two years, I have transformed mentally, physically, and emotionally. I am now in the best place I have ever been mentally, physically, and emotionally, and it's because I put my health first before anything. If you are currently dealing with any sort of addiction, or if you are currently struggling to cut out any sort of vice, or substance, I want to urge you to lean into self-development, personal development, work on your fitness. Every time I would have an urge to drink or do drugs, I'd go to the gym. I'd go push my body. I would challenge my mind. Everybody likes to say that it's impossible to get over these things, but it's because they don't bet on themselves. If you are 100% reliant on alcohol because you drank even more than me, you might not be able to just walk up to the sink, dump out all the alcohol bottles and say enough is enough, I'm fucking done. You might not be able to walk up to the toilet, dump out all the pills and say enough is enough, I'm done. You might have to go to rehab, but do something. Do what you need to do because I promise you, sober eyes, clear eyes are the best eyes. I am living a very good life right now. I am happy and fulfilled and I get to grow up slash live with beautiful people around me live a happy, healthy, strong life because I'm only putting things into my body now that will help me progress, that aren't going to kill me. I'm not poisoning myself every fucking day. I'm not altering my mental state because I believe in self and I don't need to. And I'm not trying to escape because what the fuck would I escape from? I'm living my dreams. Go get the help you need and believe in self because you can do anything. You don't need a substance to tell you who you are.